morning welcome to my channel balu master today i'm going to discuss target comet kit 2020 part 10 so today's topic friends definite integration this area is very very important together integration indefinite and definite they are going to ask every year 3 to 4 questions friends so now first of all let us start our session friends the first question integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 100x minus cos power 100x dx is equals to what let it be call friends this is nothing but uh, let it be call i so you have a property friends according to the property you are going to evaluate the sum if uh, integral 0 to a f of x dx is nothing but uh, integral 0 to a f of uh, upper limit a minus x dx integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx whenever you are going to call this as i that i becomes uh, After applying the property integral zero to pi by two, why? Because zero to a formation sine to the power of hundred into pi by two minus x upper limit minus x wherever x is there substitute upper limit minus x minus cos power hundred into pi by two minus x dx. Now very very easy friends integral zero to pi by two you know very well sine ninety minus x is nothing but cos x. cos power 100x minus cos 90 minus x sin x sin power 100x dx if you observe this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 both are ones only 1 plus 2 do it friends 1 plus 2 is nothing but i plus i that is nothing but 2i integral 0 to pi by 2 if you add both values positive sign negative sign my negative cos 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 everything will be cancelled and you are getting 0 dx integral 0 dx is nothing but 0 friends i is equals to 0 by 2 is nothing but 0 that's what the integration of this result is nothing but 0 third option is the next question friends if f of x defined in closed minus 2 to 2 this is given and g of x also given then integral minus 2 to 2 g of x dx they are asking so first of all g of x dx they are asking means uh, you are going to find out what is g of x g of x it is given in terms of f of x so f of x is nothing but they are given f of x is equals to 4x square minus 3x plus 1 in this g of x you are you need f of minus x that's what just substitute instead of x as minus x 4 into minus x whole square minus 3 times of minus x plus 1 That is nothing but four into minus x whole square means positive x square minus of minus plus three x plus one. This is what f of minus x. Now g of x. Let us try to simplify. That is equals to f of minus x. That's what four x square plus three x plus one minus f of x means this result. Whenever negative sign is there, negatives becomes positive and positives becomes negative if you apply by x square plus three. This is what you are going to write. Four x square, four x square. Break it cancel. Six x plus one minus one also cancel by x square plus three. That is what g of x. So your question is nothing but integral minus two to two g of x dx. Very very important result here. Integral minus two to two dx g of x dx means again you have a property friends. Integral minus a to a f of x dx is having two properties. One is if f of x is even function. You will get it two times of integral zero to a f of x dx. If f of x is odd function, if f of x is odd function, then you are going to get the result as zero. That's what you are going to check this g of x. This g of x is even function or odd function. Check it. Check it, friends. So how you are going to check whether it is even function or odd function is just to take instead of x as minus x. If if g of minus x you are getting a plus g of x means that is what even function minus g of x means that is what odd function. That's what if you find out g of minus x whether you are getting plus g of x or minus g of x. Let us check, friends. So g of minus x equal to six times of minus x by minus x whole square plus three. What minus six x by x square plus three? Why? Because minus x whole square means plus x square only. Minus this quantity is nothing but again g of x. So if you see g of minus x, you are getting minus g of x. So this function is odd function. Whenever this is odd function, integral minus a to a. f of x dx is nothing but whenever f of x is odd function the result is zero friends that's what the answer is zero so coming to next question friends k times of integral 0 to 1 x f of 3x dx equal to integral 0 to 
t f of t dt so very clearly if you observe so the common data is nothing but x t is there f of 3x f of t dt is there that's what if you call 3x it's some t so what will happen look at friends put the 3x is equals to t you are getting differentiated with respect to x is nothing but 3 dx is equals to dt that's what dx is equals to dt by 3 so friends very very clearly you have to observe why because definite integration this is uh, in definite integration whenever you are taking the substitution compulsory you should change the limits that rule is there friends that's what you are going to change the limits now so what are the limits as x tends to 0 as x tends to denominator sorry as x tends to lower limit 0 means which implies t tends to 3 into 0 is nothing but 0 as x tends to upper limit 1 which implies t tends to 3 into 1 is nothing but 3 0 means 0 upper limit 1 means uh, the result is 3 now this will become k times integral 0 0 1 3 so 0 to 3 x x is what from this t by 3 f of t dx is nothing but dt by 3 that is what you have to equate to 0 to 3 t f of t dt now what happened this is what constant values keep outside k by 9 into integral 0 to 3 t f of t dt is equals to integral 0 to 3 t f of t dt now if you cancel these two values k by 9 is equals to 1 which implies k is equals to 9 your answer k value there are what about the value of k they are asking k value is nothing but 9 second option is the next question friends if i1 is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 x sin x dx and i2 equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 x cos dx then which of the following is true so again the based on the previous formula friends the property is nothing but integral 0 to a f of x dx is equals to already we discussed integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx Based on this property only, fourth question and fifth question also will be there, friends. So now I want to take I1, friends. I1 is equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 x sin x dx is the given question. Now if I apply the formula integral 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus x, where x is there, substitute upper limit minus x. So upper limit pi by 2 minus x into sin of pi by 2 minus x dx. Now this will become integral 0 to pi by 2, pi by 2 minus x into sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos x dx. That is what integral 0 to pi by 2, pi by 2 cos x dx minus integral 0 to pi by 2 x cos x dx. Now what happened? This is nothing but pi by 2 is constant. Keep it outside integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x dx minus this result is nothing but uh, 0 to pi by 2 x cos x dx is nothing but i2 left hand side i1 is going on i1 plus i2 is equals to pi by 2 into so cos x integration sin x between the limits 0 to pi by 2 that is what pi by 2 into sin 90 minus sin 0 so this is equals to pi by 2 into sin 90 1 sin 0 0 1 minus 0 1 that is what pi by 2 the result is i1 plus i2 is equals to pi by 2 which option correct friends fourth option is correct answer very very simple area friends it looked like complicated but if you try to solve that is very very easy basic property only it is exists same like this question also integral 0 to pi by 2 wherever 0 to a formation is there obviously this happened it will be exist that formula only integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x minus sin x by 1 plus sin x cos x dx so now let it be called this function is i and solve it friends so let us consider friends if you call this result as i integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into cos x dx if you take this as 1 i can be written as something like that integral 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus lower limit according to the formula cos 90 minus x gives sin x minus sin 90 minus x gives cos x by 1 plus sin 90 minus x cos x and cos 90 minus x sin x 90 minus x is in first quadrant that's what positive only no need to get tension about sine integral 0 to pi by 2 if you add 
वन एंड टू वॉट है इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिनोमिनेटर सेम दैट्स वॉट यू कैन एबल टू टेक एल सी एम साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स इफ यू ऑब्जर्व कॉज एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस साइन एक्स माइनस कॉज एक्स and hence cos x cos x cancel and sin x sin x cancel numerator becomes 0 0 by anything is nothing but 0 that's what 2i equal to 0 means the i is equal to 0 i means the given question only that's what the answer is first option friends very very simple approach by using the question friends integral minus 1 2 1 mod 1 minus x dx this quantity will be positive or negative you are going to check actually for a question is integral minus 1 2 3 mod x minus 1 dx means you are going to write x minus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 we are going to split minus 1 2 1 and 1 2 3 the given question whereas here minus 1 2 1 uh, minus 1 2 1 the result is nothing but negative 1 2 3 the result is positive why because means uh, just substitute in between minus 1 to 1 1 value if you take x plus as 0 0 minus 1 is negative that's what negative if you take 1 2 3 in between one value you will get it positive only that's what this is positive but whereas the question is not like this just minus 1 to 1 if you observe whatever value if you give in between minus 1 to 1 the result will become positive only let us consider one example minus 1 1 in between 0 will be there if you take 0 the result is positive only that's what you can able to write 1 minus x dx instead of mod remove mod and write down directly positive of 1 minus x dx very very simple integration friends into 1 dx x minus x square by 2 between the limits minus 1 to this is nothing but uh, 1 minus uh, minus 1 minus 1 by 2 outside 1 square minus of minus 1 whole square that is what 1 minus of minus 1 plus 2 1 by 2 into 1 mi minus 1 whole square is nothing but 1 this will be cancelled that's what this result becomes 0 that answer is nothing but 2 which option correct friends second option is the last and final question it is 0 to pi by 8 cos cube 4 theta d theta is equals to dash very simple approach question it is 0 to pi by 8 cos cube theta can be written as cos Four theta into cos square theta. Cos square theta can be written as one minus sine square theta. One minus sine square theta d theta. Very simple. Now let us take the substitution. Put sine four theta is equals to some t. Let's differentiate with respect to theta. That's what cos four theta. Function of function. This is differentiation only. That's what we are going to write into. d theta is equals to dt now you want only this result that's what cos 4 theta d theta you want means just write down dt by 4 and moreover whenever you are taking substitution change the limits so limits becomes as theta tends to 0 now theta is going on as theta tends to 0 which implies t tends to theta 0 means sin 0 0 as theta tends to pi by 8 which implies t tends to theta pi by 8, 8 means uh, 4 into pi by 8 pi by 2 sin 91 now this will become this is equals to integral 0 to 1 0 to pi by 8 becomes 0 to 1 cos 4 theta d theta nothing but dt by 4 into 1 minus sin square 4 theta sin 4 theta is t 1 minus t square that is what you are going to write 1 by 4 out integral 0 to 1 1 minus t square dt this is nothing but 1 by 4 into integral t dt integral 1 dt t minus t cube by 3 between the limits 0 to 1 so this is equals to 1 by 4 into upper limit 1 minus 0 minus 1 by 3 into 1 cube minus 0 cube is 0 that's what 1 by 4 into 1 minus 1 by 3 1 minus 1 by 3 is nothing but if you take lcm 2 by 3 so 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 two twos are cancel that's what the result is 1 by 6 1 by 6 is your answer friends so fourth option is correct answer friends this is the definite integration part not only these uh, problems friends in case at 2020 i discussed indefinite and definite integration concepts and also moreover i done more shortcuts in case at 2020 series that's what uh, if you are not watching case at 2020 series please watch friends because you will get it more number of shortcuts i explained in case at 2020 series that's what i hope uh, you can able to follow my classes regularly that's all for today's class friends thank you very much friends thanks a lot <laughs>